Uh, Tanner, I want to start on the cerebral side of the sport, right? And uh, I want to pick your brain on that. Uh, what is your mental approach to fighting? <laughs> That's a pretty broad question. I don't know. What's my mental approach to fighting? Ah, uh, I mean, I, you got to train hard and, and stay disciplined every day <clears throat> that you're supposed to train hard, train hard. And I don't know my mental approach to fighting. You'd have to dissect certain points, I suppose, but it's, uh, if you train hard, then you can confidently enter fight week and know that you gave it your all and, uh, let the dominoes fall as they may. When you look at attributes, right, that fighters have, people talk about discipline and respect and, you know, um, gas tank, those types of things, right? What, what do you think are like the top three most important for a MMA fighter? Discipline is for sure one. And cardio and skill, but you got to put heart in there. Can you put heart with... Uh, Hmm. There's a quote that goes something like if two people are evenly matched or close, the first round should go to the person who has a bit more skill. The second round will go to the uh, one with more conditioning and the third will go to the one with more heart. So that's certainly true in, in some instances when the, a fight can be that close. So I'll, I'll, you need, you need skill, you need conditioning, and you need heart. But in order to get two of those, you need discipline. Have you always been disciplined throughout your whole career? You know what I mean? Sometimes you see fighters where, like you see a Patty Pimblett, right? He's 155, but he looks like he balloons up to like 210 pounds and then cuts back down every time he fights, right? So mm -hmm. has that, you know, have you, never, have you had instances when you weren't disciplined in the past? Well, let me say that Patty Pimblett getting up to over 200 pounds and getting back down to 155 takes insane discipline. The fact that he's able to do that is its own brand of absolutely crazy discipline. Uh, he hasn't missed weight, so can't hate on it. He gets He's not taking any short notice fights, that's for sure. But a guy like him, he's not going to be that guy anyways. So um, can't knock that. Uh, I've become more disciplined as the years went on, but I was never, I was never not disciplined. I was never drinking in training camp or, uh, um, never eating crappy really close to the fight. There's, there was times earlier in my career where yeah, after fights, I, I'd, uh, tend to eat a lot more junk food and stuff, but I was never like an off the rails guy, but I've become all around more disciplined as it, uh, my careers went on. Um, mainly from the kind of the work ethic instilled in me by my coach, Jeff Montemiro. That's uh, that's so interesting to me, man. The, the discipline side, cause a lot of you guys are so disciplined, man. It's insane. Like how everything is in order and placed perfectly for you and, and you guys. And then on top of that, you're, putting your body on the line, which is insane, and, and overcoming injuries throughout training camp. Going back to the mental side, have you ever had like a mental coach in the past or now? You know, a lot of guys get mental coaches no. when they get into the UFC for some reason. Yeah, because they're weak. Is that what you see? You don't... You don't That's see what I think. Mental you need, if you need a mental coach, you're weak. All right. Um, emotions, right, in fighting, like, like anger. Does that push you in camp? Or has that ever been an emotion that you felt in, in a training camp or in a fight? Anger. Um, well, you don't feel tons of emotions in a fight. Or at least I don't. In training camp, I guess anger um, isn't... Back when I was fighting Tim Haig, I had that. You know, he was like my arch enemy in life. Both times I fought him, yes, there was, there was some anger there. And the first time it didn't help me whatsoever. There are times in training camp where I am angry and use it as a motivator. However, the anger isn't targeted at my opponent or something more like a set of circumstances, usually financial or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the outside circumstances affecting your, your inside the gym, basically. Is that what it was? Uh, you know what? It's not even necessarily just inside the gym. It's just like my whole training camp, my whole life. Like I'm angry because I, I am. Yeah, resentful and not even towards anyone or anything in particular. Just, yeah, just uh, overall, 
I guess. But yeah, it usually comes down to the fact that I'm angry because I feel like my back's against the wall. And if I don't win this fight, then I think maybe I'm going to get cut or maybe, uh, or without the win bonus, I'm not going to really be any financially ahead. I'll just kind of be breaking even kind of thing. So, uh, angry with that set of circumstances, not often angry at my opponent. No. The, the last 15 months, man, um, we spoke in that time has been full of circum uh, obstacles for you and, and fight cancellations. You know, what was the most frustrating part of that period? Well, not being able to fight is the most frustrating part, right? I had a uh, COVID related reasons, cancel my fight that was supposed to happen in December against Pavlovich. And then I was supposed to fight in April against, um, against Nascimento and then later against Romanov when he pulled out. And then I got injured. And that was the worst because that's the first time I've ever pulled out of a fight at all. But due to injury, that's the first time I got injured and, and couldn't fight. I fought through a lot of injuries that a lot of guys wouldn't have fought through. And I couldn't, I couldn't fight. Couldn't, physically wasn't able to. So very frustrating and now yeah it's been more than a year where i haven't fought where last year you know after i fought twice in june it's smooth sailing you got some padding and then you don't fight for a year and well shit it feels like you're back at square one there goes everything you accumulated over the last couple of years right yeah i feel your frustration man um in the past you f you said you fought with injuries like what was do you remember like the worst injury that you fought with i guess i don't like to i won't tell you the fights but mm -hmm. Broken foot, um, torn MCL are a couple big ones, I guess. Savage. Uh, those, those, yeah. those would be the two yeah. biggest that I can think of, yeah. How do you hide that? How do you hide a broken foot walking around? Because I see fighters doing it all the time, like masking injuries. You just do it. I just this top it out, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, if, if there's a seat, silver lining, you know, just from, you know, from the outside looking in, of the past 15 months is that you got to maybe prepare for three different opponents. You know what I mean? Three different body types, skill sets. Was there some benefit of that, you know, heading into this new year? Nope. There's no silver lining. It's all bullshit. There's, I was ready to fight in December. I was ready to fight in November and I didn't get a fight booked. I was ready to fight in October. I could have fought in September. I lost over a year of my career because of two strokes of bad luck. Well, the United States government deciding to be idiots and um, my own injuries. So, no, I've prepared for three different opponents and I didn't get to fight any of them. So, there, there's no silver lining. Rodrigo Nascimento, how do you mm -hmm. see yourself performing against him? Well, he's solid all around. You know, he likes his jiu-jitsu. He, he fancies himself a good grappler and he, and he is. He's a good grappler. He's got good ground and pound, kind of unorthodox in my opinion, but he's good at it. His striking's fine too. He's not, he's not bad at anything, but I feel that I'm, I'm coming in hot this time, man, because I already know I can't go to the Vegas judges, and uh, I, I got to knock him out. That's it. And you said you said it earlier, man. Like you almost return back to, you know, point the the beginning point, right? So you do you feel like a you could, you could get a new start? Or do you feel momentum from the last fight <clears throat> at all? Uh, no, nah, the momentum's gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, on paper, I'm coming off a win, so mm -hmm. that's nice. That's good, but um, it would have been way shittier to have all this time off coming off loss. Yeah. That's for sure. But, uh, no, I don't feel any momentum, but neither does he. He's been out longer than me. Yeah. So it's just a, two assholes coming back who need their win bonus real bad, man. That's what. Yeah, definitely. Um September 17th, UFC Fight Night, Las Vegas. Thank you so much, Tanner, for taking the time. I know it's late out there. Uh, all the best in the fight. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it.